In this guitar lesson, we're going to work on some Johnny Cash style rhythm guitar. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you a really nice country strumming pattern that sounds something like this. So after I break down that strum pattern, we're going to practice it with a chord progression. And after we do that, we are going to start adding some nice Johnny Cash style bass line walks to this chord progression to help you transition from one chord to the next and make your rhythm guitar sound a little fancier. So here's a quick example of these bass line walks. I've put together eight different baseline walks that I'm going to teach you with the tablature right here on the screen. And after we learn these baseline walks, what we're going to do next is I'm going to show you a couple of guitar scales that you can use to create your own baseline walks. And then I'll show you how to use these guitar scales to create some longer type of fill riffs in the style of Johnny Cash. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully learning these scales will show you where these notes are actually coming from. So you can start using these, uh, these scales and improvising your own type of riffs and stuff. So after we do that, I'm actually going to show you all seven or eight different longer fill riffs. You know, very simple fill riffs just to give you all an idea of how to use these scales and to get you started on all this stuff. So overall, we got a great lesson. Let's go ahead and get started here. We're going to work on the strumming pattern first, and then we'll go from there. So let's take a look at this country strumming pattern, and we're going to use an E major chord right now to practice it. So the strumming pattern is going to go like this. Pick, down, up, pick, down, up. Pick, down, up. Pick, down, up. Or you could say, pick, strum, strum, pick, strum, strum. And you'll just repeat that over and over again. And you can see that we're using an alternating bass line here. So the first bass line pick is going to be on the 6th string. And then the second bass line pick is on the 5th string. And you just go back and forth. And if this strumming pattern is a little too much for you right now, you could just do the basic pick, strum, pick, strum. Just like that, you know. But we're going to use that strumming pattern we just went over with the extra up strum in there. So pause the video if you want to work on this a little bit. But what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you a real cool chord embellishment that you can add to the strumming pattern when you're playing it over an E major chord. That's going to sound like this. It's a little chord embellishment. That's pretty simple. It's pick, strum, strum, pick, hammer, strum, strum. Pick, strum, strum, pick, hammer, strum, strum. And to do that pick hammer, you got the E major chord formed. Just lift up your middle finger and then pick the open fifth string and then hammer your middle right back down where it was. So pick, strum, strum, pick, hammer, strum, strum.
That will give you that nice Johnny Cash sound, doing that little hammer on right there. So now let's practice this strumming pattern with some other chords and we're going to work through this Johnny Cash style chord progression here in one second. But we only need three chords for this chord progression we're going to go over. We've got the E major chord, just went over that, and then we've got the A major chord, and then we've got the B7 chord. So when we switch to the A major chord, the bass line picks will change a little bit. So that when the A major chord is going, the first bass line pick will be on the fifth string. Next bass line is on the sixth string. Just back and forth. And I just like barring my pointer finger across the second fret there to play the A chord. I just think it's easier for me, but you can use whatever fingering you want to for that. So that's the A major chord, and then once you get that down, we'll just add on the B7 chord. This is a really useful chord if you don't know it yet. So you can pause the video if you want to learn this chord if you don't know it. But the bass line picking over the B7 will be 5th string, 6th string. I actually missed that 6th string there. And the reason is because you got to shift your middle finger back and forth to pick up that bass line. Over the B7. So now let's go through this Johnny Cash style chord progression. This is a progression we're going to borrow from his song Folsom Prison Blues. It's a real basic chord progression in the key of E. It's got a nice bluesy sound. So let's use this strumming pattern we just went over and play through this chord progression. One, two, three, four. E. So let's check out the first bass line walk that we have right here. And all these are very simple. They're just going to be all down strokes. This first one sounds like this. And that's just one measure right there. Four counts. Open, open, second fret, fourth fret. And I just use pointer finger and ring finger right there. So, very simple. So, how are we going to use this? We are going to use this baseline walk to replace one measure of strumming. So, if we look at this chord progression on the screen, the measure that we're going to replace is a measure of E major chord right there at the end of that top line. So we're going to play this bass line walk right there to help us transition to the A chord. So let's just play, um, maybe start about halfway through that top line of the chord progression and play four measures of E, but then that last measure we'll play this bass line walk into the A. So here we go. One, two, three, four. E.
kind of see how it works using that baseline walk right there. So pause the video if you want to work on that a little bit. But we're going to learn one more baseline walk right here that we can play over you know, as a replacement for an E major chord. It's really similar to the one we just learned, but it's got this little chromatic scale walk up this time. I like this one a lot. So if you're ready, let's add that to the chord progression in the same exact place that we did earlier, right at that last measure of E. So let's play through it, starting halfway through that top line. One, two, three, four. E, 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 baseline walk. Moving on, let's check out baseline walk number three. Sounds like this. Not too bad there. It's all downstrokes again. Open to A string to start. So pause the video if you want to work on that. But now let's use this baseline walk to replace a measure of A major chord. And this baseline walk, it will help you transition from the A major to the E major chord. So let's check out the chord progression. We're going to play this one measure baseline walk over that last measure of A major as a replacement for that, that measure instead of strumming. So here we go. Let's play. Starting at the beginning of that second line, the A major chord. One, two, three, four, A, 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 E. That sounds really nice. Let's check out one more baseline walk over the A chord to transition to the E chord. You know, same type of baseline walk. So this is baseline walk number four. Sounds like this. And for this one, that first note, I use my pointer finger and then open fourth string and then pointer finger again on the fifth string. So pointer, open, pointer, bend, a little bend with the middle finger. The middle finger on the sixth string there. Just pick it and slightly pull that string down a little bit, just like that. Let's add this to the chord progression, and we're going to play this one over that same measure, that last measure of A chord, right there to transition to the E. So here we go. Let's start at the beginning of the second line. One, two, three, four. A, A, A.
Moving on, let's check out baseline walk number five. So now you've learned all eight Johnny Cash style baseline walks. Next, I'm going to play through this entire chord progression one more time. This time through, I'm going to speed it up a little bit and I'll add these baseline walks throughout the progression at each of those points where we change chords. Just so you can hear what it's supposed to sound like once you speed it up and you get it all down. It's really going to give you that Johnny Cash sound that we're going for. So let's play through this practice progression starting at the beginning and I'll count us in four counts. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Right there at the end of the progression, you just go back to the beginning of the progression and repeat it over and over again. And you can practice your baseline walks at each of those points where you change from one chord to the next. So next in this lesson, I'm going to show you two guitar scales that you can use to create your own baseline walks. And this can be really helpful because learning these scales I'm about to show you will help you see where these notes are actually coming from. And after that, we're going to go over some longer fill riffs, some two measure long fill riffs in the style of Johnny Cash. Still got that nice, simple sound, the ones we, those bass line walks we just learned, but they're going to be a little bit longer. Uh, let's go ahead and check out these guitar scales next, and then we'll get into the fill riffs. <laughs> 